President. I have over here from Secretary Rusk uh, a draft presidential statement. Uh, I also have a little more information, but not much. Uh, the presidential statement that he suggests is as follows. We are deeply distressed to learn that large-scale fighting has broken out in the Middle East, an eventuality we had sought to prevent. Each side has accused the other of launching aggression. At this time, the facts are not clear. But we do know that tragic, cons that tragic consequences will flow from this needless and destructive struggle if the fighting does not cease immediately. The Security Council has been called into urgent session. The United States will devote all its energies to bring about an end to the fighting and a new beginning of programs to assure the peace and development of the entire area. We call upon all parties to support the Security Council in bringing about an immediate ceasefire. I've read it to Bob McNamara, and uh, he thinks it's all right, too. But, but I wanted to... Would you like me to want to look at it, sir? No, I think it's all right. Right. Uh, now, you, <clears throat> as you know, we're trying to, to, to find out uh, who started it. The uh, evidence is not definitive, but we have an interesting uh, insight from our fellow in Cairo who says that they claim the war started at 9 o'clock uh, uh, Cairo time with an Israeli strike. But here's what he says in his fourth paragraph. There are, however, indications uh, of unusual activ activity in the UAR forces before the raids at 9 o'clock, including truckload of military police dropping men at intersections along Nile Corniche at 8 o'clock, as though in preparation for major troop movement. Also, a United Arab Republic commercial pilot was summoned to airport at 4.30 in the morning today and found large number of pilots in uniform, immediately called fiancé and told her to leave the country as soon as possible. Uh, the, uh, that is, uh, as of the moment, uh, it's not much, but it's something. Uh, the only evidence that this is a UAR put-up job. Uh, Bob McNamara says that he feels, his inclination is to feel the same way because of this and the, uh, uh, they're having made a big public announcement about the Muyadeen uh, mission uh, and made that public, uh, which would be a good cover if they were going to jump off. Uh, however, uh, there's nothing to hang your hat on, but I did want you to uh, be up to date. We have a, an interview with Eban, uh, who was, uh, uh, said they were attacked, and they gave them orders to uh, counterattack. The military situation is that uh, they're fighting so far only with Egypt. Governor of Israel believes its attack on Egyptian airfields has been a success. Eban thinks Egyptian ground force movement from Gaza probably stopped. Eban interprets erroneous Jordanian claim of Israeli attack on uh, airfield as a possible ruse by Hussein to justify keeping his forces back to protect his airfields. The Syrians have not moved, says Eban, although they're announcing that they're attacking Israeli cities. They're drafting a message to you. He says the letter will rehearse development of Nasser's build-up, reasons for Israeli action, based on Article 51 and conviction that the world understands Israel is victim of Nasser's aggression. The letter will add that uh, Israel has no, repeat, no intention of taking advantage of the situation to enlarge its territory, hopes peace can be restored within present boundaries, also hopes conflict can be localized, and in this regard, asks our help in restraining any Soviet initiative. Uh, Secretary, Secretary Russ spoke to you, didn't he, about his uh, proposed Gromyko letter? Yes. Right, sir. Well, that brings you up to date, sir. All right. And now, you can go with that statement? Yes. When would you issue it? Uh, that's your judgment, sir. I, uh, 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 George has the, some newspaper men in his neck, but uh, it... Uh, you could George issue. has what? George has some newspaper men in. Uh, th that's no pressure. It's a question of your judgment as to when an initial statement might be in. I think it might be reassuring to have this kind of even-handed factual statement early to give a lead, uh, and uh, it, it, it's been reported that you have been informed in the following events. Is George in his office? Yes, sir. Hmm. Well, I'll send it up to him, and I'll talk to him about when to I put it out. Uh, what would you think today about having uh, the leadership uh, informed up at the Congress? Uh, have McNamara and Russ go up there instead of coming down here. I think it blows it up and makes it a little critical down here. But we might ask some of our 
good friends that might be helpful to come in from the outside and give us some help here. Uh, Clark, hey, people like that. Well, I would think, uh, uh, I'm not sure, but I would think that we ought to, just for public's uh, appearances sake, maybe ask Atchison to come by. You ought to ask Rusk and uh, McNamara what they think of it, uh, just on your own without coming from me. But I would, these would be the ones I would like to uh, talk to about these things and see what preparations they think we ought to make and so forth. Atchison. Ball. Clifford. Bundy down? Yes, Bundy would be good. I always liked that old man, uh, and McCloy and that other fellow that uh, that always handled uh, uh, Pakistan and India. I thought his judgment's good. Sometime we ought to have him in here. Uh, he, he handled the uh, test ban, a lot of that stuff. Uh, Dean. Yeah, Arthur Dean. Arthur Dean. But I wouldn't have, I wouldn't mention McCloy and Dean today. But I do think that Bundy would be exceptional. Just get on a shuttle and come down here. And I think that uh, beyond that, you ought to ask him. Uh, I do that anyway. I just call him and tell him I'd like to visit with him about this letter. I think that's very good. And I won't talk to him about this other matter too. And I wish you'd come down here and be prepared to stay as long as you can. I will do that, sir. And uh, but then, I, I, then I check them on the leadership. Uh, whether they think it would be a proper thing to ask Mansfield to arrange to. Uh, where's the vice president? I don't know where. Find right out from. Let's see if they can have meetings like they had the other day. You handle them the same way. Now on that one, yeah, I think you'd want to get Dick Helms in uh, to, on the intelligence side, would you? Yeah. Yeah. I should think you'd want him and, and Rusk and McNamara up there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll try it out, the, the list except Mac, and I'll just get Mac down here, and I'll try out this leadership idea, and I'll try out the names on my own. Good. Right, sir? What time is it? It's now 6.23. Right, sir? Operator. Just a minute, I won't get... I'll get... 